stripper gels, which are our liner gels, come in <clears throat> two sets. And each set has five colors each. I think I have almost every color here. I think I'm only missing one. But they're super rich. <clears throat> Ooh. Something in my throat. They're super rich, super pigmented. As you guys can see, I use the black one here for this design. And I'll show you really quickly the white one. I'll just do a little, a few little lines on something so the girls can see. Let's see, I think I have a black display tip here somewhere. Where did she go? Where did she go? And again, I apologize if you guys have to try and get to every single comment because I do have the camera up positioned a little bit higher than usual, but I think it's better for me because that way I don't feel like the camera is sitting on my face. But I'll show you guys, you know, something really quick and simple because people really love these kinds of line designs nowadays. So the gels are super rich, as you can see. And you have a lot of control when it comes to the line work. You can do them thin or thick. And if you don't like how the line comes out, you can remove it and then apply again. I love this color. This is from set two. This is like Barbie pink. You guys can see how rich these colors are because these are very bright colors that are going on top of black. And they are not transparent. They are super richly pigmented, so. Let's use this really pretty lavender. That is from set one. So psychedelic. Let's freeze it just for about 10 seconds because we're gonna add some glitter to her. Let's use, on Instagram, I used the silver glitter. So let's just showcase really quickly the gold. Put this over here to the side. And we will have set three and four available later on this year as well too. If not early next year, but we'll link. Gold, she is pigmented for dogs. This really makes me feel nostalgic from like early 90s kind of nail art. Early 90s, 80s style nail art. So we're going to use the 5XL coffin today for the demo and before I apply it on myself, for example, because of the magnet, she is powerful, I like to shape the free edge just because I find it easier and it feels less awkward than when you uh, file it after you apply it. You're like a beautiful color. DIY gel in Fantasy Pink. We're gonna use a 15 and melt two today.
pharmaceutical. Hold it firmly, make sure there's no bubbles. Beautiful. Let's freeze her just a few seconds. Using this flashy lamp. Are you guys living for this length? Don't you just love how discreet it is? This is like very like, I don't want nails that look fake. I want something very vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, alkaline. So let's go ahead and bake it now for one minute. Inside the Barbie darling lamp. Fine, don't party too much. You sure? Don't look at Paul and then have his head explode. What do you guys think? Aren't they super pigmented? I'm obsessed. So beautiful, I love it. That was so quick, that's right. That's an easy, just no. Boom, boom, boom. Next. How come I can't see anything? That is crazy. Se oye todo. ¿Por qué no le dices en otro cuarto? So bright, pretty, I love that. That gold. Hello, no UK source that I know of. UK source for what? Was somebody asking if we have a distributor in jolly old England? Antonia Kavina Wilson, she's here. No, we don't have a distributor in England anymore, or in the UK in general. Um, so you can order direct from enochcouture.com and we do have shipping to, of course, the UK. And you can now pay in your local currency. That's an option on the website now. I'm using the famous fantastic file. Remember you guys, when you're shaping the nail, make sure that the shape is nice and sharp. You want straight lines. And don't move on to the next nail until the nail you're working on, you are 100% content with that shape and how it looks. Don't move on to the next nail if you're not happy with it because then you're going to create inconsistencies and you're going to get discouraged and you're not going to be happy. So make sure that nail is how you want it before you move on to the next. We're going to use the power top bit. And that's all the shaping you have to do. It's done. We're going to use the smoothie buffer just to remove the shine off the top surface of the nail. number 12 because I want a, uh, a off-white base so that way the colors are more vivid especially using the bikini bar because they are slightly semi sheer not super sheer but just a little bit and you already know that a pink 12 is the first milky white base coat that enocouture.com launched and we also have a milky white top coat called milky shiny I was also thinking about doing a milky pink top coat. What do you guys think? Or like a milky pink top coat with uh, glitter in it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to take our pistachio brush. On there. And we're just going to really gently feather everything towards the back. It creates almost like a baby boomer kind of nail, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty just like that by itself? Like super natural, right? And before we bake it, you guys already know our little trick. When we do ombre nails is we're going to take acrylic powder and we're going to sprinkle it on top of the wet gel. 
I'm gonna use crystal clear acrylic from emotor.com, of course. I would never use anything else. I'm gonna bake this for 30 seconds inside the dazzling bun. And what the acrylic is going to do, it's going to create a canvas-like texture for us to be able to gradient the colors a lot easier. Yeah, we haven't had a UK distributor in a few years now. Jojo is here for the fantasy. The import tax is quite bad, unfortunately. Due to inflation, it just gets worse and worse and worse. So we've got to write to the queen and tell her, hey, Knock it off with the taxes, lady. You don't need any more money. Love your work, thank you! I won't be going back to acrylic. Acrylic sheet is in the past. Yes, for the milky pink with the glitter. Yeah, but no glitter. Maybe we can do two. I'm looking at pimentation de tus geles. Solo una maravilla. Que amable. That would be great. It's just another option on softening the look of any color of any French. And just gives you more options. So we're going to go in with, so this one's quite warm toned, we're going to do this one more on the cool tone side, so we're going to use 197, 198, 199. Actually, it's easier for me to be on camera with the camera sitting up a little bit higher. I feel like I don't get out of focus so much because it's a little bit of a wider shot. And the next is the purple. And this is 189 from Bikini Bar.
how beautiful that blended out the colors. So lovely. I like using a blender puff to do this. You most definitely can use uh, a sponge. Con todo trabajo, un saludo desde México, un besote. So beautiful. Using a um, an a pink base makes the colors a lot more vivid, and also sprinkling acrylic powder makes a huge difference. Trust me. Once you try it with acrylic sprinkled into the base shell and then you do the design on top, it's a huge, huge difference in how easy the colors blend out. It makes a, a huge, huge difference. And then also, don't pick up your brush too high from the nail because then you have to go back all the way to where you start to begin to blend again. Because you want the colors to kind of blend a little bit on the bristles too. It just makes it more seamless. The gel was not too thick of a loose sauce to But I wanted to use the Bikini Girl colors um, because I didn't launch them in time. So I wanted to do something new. And you can't go wrong with animal print. You know what I mean? She is ready for her pride look with these nails of JoJo. That purple, I know the Pink Army loves their purple. The Pink Army, there's a lot of purple girls in the Pink Army. Starting with my mom. And then we're going to use the black stripper gel, which is 001, so this is from set one. And we're going to do a little animal print. So, the secret to doing a really dope animal print design is you want to touch, press, and pull. Ready? Touch, press, and pull. And the more uneven the line work is, the doper it looks.
wonder though. I wish we could see it with matte. But I think this design looks best. Shiny. Yes, you guys, I'm super excited. I'm super thankful that I finally found some decent, good people to work. Hopefully, please keep your fingers crossed, man. It works out. If not, I'm just gonna have to fly the pink army from everywhere. That blue is pumping. Rainbow Bright, Delisa Frank, Care Bears, the purple, yes. The purple army, pretty much. You can't go wrong with animal print. It's always ready to go to the casino. We're gonna sew with a little bit of Wonder Gel. Very simple, very discreet. Let's turn it around for a few seconds, let it self level out. And a very basic kind of nail today. Just very soft colors. Very bubble bath, ballet slippers kind of colors. Guys, I am so thankful right now too that everyone has been really, really understanding with our delay in shipping. Everybody has been really, really kind and understanding for the most part. Just a few people have been kind of kerns, but usually everybody else has been really, really understanding and we are working around the clock. We are going to, for the staff that we do have, of course we're offering uh, overtime and we're going to to beat me too, it is, we really feel taken advantage of. Antonia is ready, yes, it was an employee that worked here. And she worked here for a few years, and she was stealing, she had, from what I seen in the pictures, about two or three hundred bottles of gel. She had one of every lamp, one of every drill. She was shopping. There, come tomorrow. We are ready to. <laughs> we need like maybe 20 people. And there we have it, you guys. What do you think? Are we vibing the Lisa Frank Rainbow Bride Fantasy? Let me take this off. There she blows. Did you get back the product? Not yet. Her ex-boyfriend, the one that ratted her out, said that he would deliver on Friday. So hopefully we do. These are fire. Thank you. The colors are so beautiful. That blend, you guys, so easy. When you use the acrylic as the base. She is ready for glow jangles with these.
Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's quick little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys get to check out the new bikini bar colors and, of course, the stripper gels because everybody's loving them. And thank you so much, you guys, for understanding and being compassionate with the unfortunate shipping delays that we have right now. But hopefully, now that we hired a few new people, we will be able to catch up with everything. And what can I say? I love you guys so much. Try to stay out of trouble. I know that's hard for some of us. And I'll see you guys in the next live video. Bye.